Hi boys and girls, today we're going to be drawing our self-portrait, but we're going to be doing what I would call a triple self-portrait, inspired by our famous artist Norman Rockwell. And I want you to start with drawing the back side of yourself. So you're going to draw your, the back of your head, what you think your shoulders and arms would look like if you were standing and painting yourself, your legs and your feet, okay? So think about, you know, shapes, all right? Um, if I'm drawing myself, the back of myself, I could very lightly, and I, this is what I would do, I would very lightly sketch in, this is where my head's going to be, this is where my neck's going to be, I'm going to draw my shoulders and my back here, my waist here, then um, your hips, torso, so like for my legs, I'm, I'm going to do just some ovals, this is where my legs are, this is where my knees are, this is where my calves are and the back of my heel, okay? Th same thing with arms. Pretend like you're just drawing this, um, you know, like Mrs. Walker has those little um, bendy stickmen. Think about the shape. So this is the top part of my arm, where my biceps are, my elbow, the forearm, my hand, okay? So you may not, this doesn't look anything like me, obviously, but when I add the details that make it me, this actually gets me at least the right shape, okay? Then I'm going to throw uh, the back of my hair in here and cover a lot of things up. So there's my hair. All right, whatever you cover up with your hair. Now, boys, you won't get to erase as much as I do because your hair isn't long like mine. And some of you girls, same thing, okay? But if you have long hair, and mine's kind of wavy and jaggedy on the back, so I'm going to make this kind of a wavy line, okay? Then... I'm just going to kind of outline this. I'm going to take the outline. This is my arm, right? There would be my shirt. So I'm going to, obviously, I'm bigger than that stick figure. So I'm going to kind of just try to make this the size that I am. Okay, there's my shirt. And there's my shirt. So now, um, and I'm not going to do my hands right now because that takes a little bit of time. I will take time to do that later. But then you can erase all of those gentle, soft sketchy lines that you did in there and this this hand's going to be even harder because this one's got to be holding the paintbrush but erase anything that's inside there after you've done the outline and have the basic shape same thing here i'm going to um, to make this easy i can make myself be wearing a long skirt that's probably what i would do but for those but to make it to show you what to do here if i was wearing pants i'm just going to draw my legs in as kind of like rectangles right it's like a big long rectangle um probably i'm just gonna leave that there i noticed that some this one was wider and this one was skinnier so i'm going to kind of go back i think i'm going to have narrow legged pants because i probably wear those more than i wear wide ones so think about something that you wear typically this wouldn't you'd want it to look like you okay and then the back of your heels um usually you're just going to see it's almost like a rectangle maybe a little bit curved and then a smaller rectangle underneath that you're not going to be like so if it's tennis shoes it'd be the same thing you know you're just going to see the heel okay um now i have the general back of myself drawn in i'm going to need a mirror here and then a bigger picture frame over here that's on an easel so you're going to need a rectangle um i want this one to be slightly covered up by my head so i'm going to start right in the middle of my head actually and go up and over and down and over and if yours doesn't look exactly right and you want to use a ruler you can use a ruler for this mrs walker's not using one because i want to just kind of quickly sketch this in so you can see what to do okay so in this mirror um, i'm going to draw a picture this should be the most detailed picture of you because this is the one that will actually be a, a real representation of your face the um, painting over here, the fun part about the painting is you don't even have to finish this one. This one can be a self-portrait that's in progress, right? Because you're in the middle of doing it. So if I was doing this one, I would only do part of me. And then part of me is going to be covered up by my hand here, right? So I'm not going to have to do that part. So placing things where if you don't really want to draw your face again, you could put, like I could put my head right here, couldn't I? And then would you see my face? No, you would just see my hair and my chin, maybe part of my eye. I'd have to decide how much of this you can see, right, if I do it this way. But this one I want you to do very detailed. 
um, if I'm looking over at this, my head might be tilted to the side a little bit, right? Like this. And if my head was tilted, my hair would be falling down this way. So I could actually have some fun with making myself looking to the side. Um, I could be really smiling at myself. <laughs> I think in this one I did, I made myself smiling. So just get your eyes in there, get your nose in there, your mouth. Remember, your eyes are not up here on your forehead, so pay attention when you put your eyes in. They should be about halfway down uh, your head, okay? You don't want them way up there on your forehead. A lot of kids do that. They put their, their eyes way too high up, um, and then it doesn't look very realistic, okay? So think about, or, and then you guys should have the um, mirrors in front of you so look at the mirror look at where your eyes are in in um, when you look at the perspective of reality like when you're really looking in a mirror what does it really look like are your eyes way up here and what does your bangs look like so mine i have a side part and it swoops to this swoops over usually um yours i want you to look at the top of look look what does this look like do you have a part here do your is your part in the middle do you have no part maybe you don't have any part okay and if it's just like uh, short hair and what's the texture looking is it going to be wavy lines or short lines okay once you get that in um, have fun with your frame you can make it a fancy frame you can make it just a plain frame but you want to make a frame around the mirror it could be hanging or it could just be I'm gonna put mine on a hanger this is on an easel okay so an easel has usually three legs in the back and then you can usually see them kind of poking up over the top so if I was doing the easel I'm gonna I don't have a ruler here but I would definitely use a straight edge for this you want it to be slightly angled so I'm gonna put one line that's like this and then I'm just gonna move this over just a teeny bit because I want it to be a little thicker than that okay there's my one and then do another one going this way and it should reach almost down really close not quite as far down as where your feet are because it's in front of you but close okay so when you do this and you stop think about where would that be um, on the floor it would be just slightly in front of the person who's painting okay so right slightly in front of your feet it's a little bit shorter to show that it's it's that way and then the back leg you can see this is much shorter it's because it is actually stretched out behind I'm going to do a middle one here. This one I don't want to be, I want it to be shorter. Okay, so I'm going to put that right down the middle and make it shorter. And then there's usually, no, there isn't always, but sometimes there's a, mine has a tray right here that you can rest. Well, you need something to rest the painting on. So I'm going to put a tray right there. Uh, a lot of times there's a little board up here that sort of clamps the painting together so I'm going to put a little board up there so just rectangles really is all these are I could put like it's the maybe there's a screw holding that one in okay um, that's pretty much it for that because this is just a unfinished canvas here that I'm painting now to put a paint to put a paintbrush in your hand I was thinking about if I was holding a paintbrush my hand would be like this so my finger would be stretched out the paintbrush the tip of it would be there and the other would be coming back towards me you'd barely be able to see my thumb because it'd be resting on my thumb that's how i would hold a paintbrush you might want to just pick up a paintbrush and see how do you hold a paintbrush so i'm going to just draw a paintbrush kind of going this way i'm going to put my thumb just slightly to this side of it and let's see Ooh, i need that thumb to be way back here looking at my on my wrist my thumb would be here right and my finger that that's on top of it would be there let's see what are my other fingers doing they're kind of stretched out but curled okay so my pinky would be curled in like this so just kind of pretend you know hold a brush in your hand and see what your hand does when you're holding the brush because everybody this would be different for different people right we all hold things differently if you look at how you hold your pencil it's not the same as the person next to you so kind of look at what you do when you draw this okay and then once you have this done, we're going to use the skinny Sharpies to trace our lines, except for this one. So the painting part that's in here, we're not going to trace that at all. This is going to be black and white or gray and white if you did it all with pencil. Um, that should be like just a, it's more of a unfinished painting, okay? It's in progress. The rest of this, the background included, we're going to be painting. 
uh, but you want to trace it with the Sharpie first. And you also need to include a horizon line. So that horizon line just shows where the wall of the room meets the floor of the room. I'm gonna, I need it to be somewhere behind this back leg, so I'm thinking I'm just going to move up a little bit right about here. Um, don't cut across your legs of your thing. Remember, this is behind them. This is the, the edge of the wall, so you would just draw a line. You could use a ruler for this, too. You could just set your ruler here. But remember not to draw through your legs or through the legs of the easel. Okay, and then that kind of tells you, okay, when I paint the wall, I'm only going to paint this. I'm going to paint this differently than I do the floor. Okay? Alright, have fun!